Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Welcome to the Heckscher Museum of Art and our new exhibition, Men at Work. This show is a single gallery exhibition drawn from our permanent collection featuring works that depict men in various occupations or avocations as well. That's by a Russian photographer named Mark Markov Grinberg. He was a task photographer in Russia and he went to the front during World War II to document the military during the war. It's interesting if you consider where was he standing when he took this photograph, but we have other photographs of his uh, which are equally dramatic. This is William Robinson Lee. Uh, he was an uh, illustrator, and since it's painted on eye in black and white, it probably was for an illustration. I do not know where it was used or whether it was used. This is George Gross. He was particularly attracted to circus, carnivals, and those types of performers and did images of them throughout his life. John Rogers was the probably the most successful American sculptor of the 19th century. He developed sculptural subjects uh, which tended to be small town, rural in nature, Americana subjects. I mean, they're very complicated. They're multi-figures. The detail is incredible. The expressions on the faces is you know, realistic. It's estimated that there were hundreds of thousands of Rogers sculptures produced in the mid-19th century. So this is by Robert Kronbach. So in the 1930s, America was in the midst of a depression. The federal government had a program called the WPA, the Works Progress Administration. Through that, many artists were employed to document America. So Kronbach was a WPA artist and tended to focus on factory workers, as, as seen here. So there's an emphasis on mass and form plainer structure, less emphasis on detail. One of the earlier works in the exhibition, it's by Emma Stebbins, who is an American sculptor. She was part of a group of American women sculptors who worked in, in Rome, creating marble sculptures, and they were dubbed the White Marmorian Flock by Henry James, referring to the fact that they worked with marble, white, white marble. So in Rome, of course, uh, in the mid-19th century, um, was a training ground for many artists because you were surrounded by all of the masterpieces of the Renaissance and back to antiquity. And so the poses that the mid-19th century artists uh, adopted often do have precedence in ancient sculpture. The exhibition Men at Work is on view at the Heckscher Museum of Art through March 27th. <laughs>